What's going on guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Let me ask you this question. Do you know how gold is purified? It's through fire. It's through heat. And you know, I thought about this. I'm like, man, this quarantine is like, it's a lot of stuff that we're going through, you know? Um, and, and so you may be feeling the heat, you may be feeling the pressure, you may be feeling the fire, but gold is purified through fire. So that means there's something that is happening with us through the fire that we are experiencing. So greatness is gonna come out of you during this time, man. So keep going. I really, really believe in you. I really am your number one fan and I'm standing in your corner rooting for you. So early game in Fortnite. Oh my goodness, this could be like one of the most frustrating parts of the game if you do not know what you're doing. And so many people get stuck in early game that they're not even able to see any other part of the game. And so if you wanna get more consistent at dominating in early game, this video is for you. In today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys five tips that's gonna give you guys the edge that you need in early game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. It's time to get pumped up right now. You know why? Because it's time to sit back, come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite Candy and see which one I'm gonna get today. Let's see, no, oh, this is cool. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. And speaking of bringing your game to the next level, if you want to take another step to master Fortnite, head on over to ProGuys.com, guys, where we have basically like every tool and resource you'll need to improve. You know, from top tier pro coaches who can help you out at any time, which is amazing, to a ton of courses from our professional analysts and pro players like Mongrel, Benji, and Lechi, and our brand new live lessons from some of your favorite content creators all in one place. Yo, it is absolutely amazing. So be sure to check out ProGuys.com as soon as you can. Also, I got a question to ask you before we start. My question is, where do you land in Fortnite and why? Personally, you know, I'm a big fan of Steam Stacks. The loot is great. You know, there's a ton of strong materials available to farm and the air vents allow for easy rotation. So it's also really good because you can camp near the porta potty and get an easy kill on the player who goes on the yacht. So let me know your landing spot in the comments because I'm really interested to hear. All right, guys, so with that said, let's move into our first tip, which is mastering your drop. Okay, so if you've ever watched a pro like Mongrel, Booga, Tifu, man, the list can go on and on, right? You probably noticed that they know their landing spots to a T, right? Every loot spawn, man, every ammo crate, every building, every piece of furniture, it's like they have this perfect memory of every single little thing, right? And while they're obviously not perfect, they are human, they're pretty close to it. So having complete mastery of your drop spot is a sure way to not only like loot faster and more efficiently, but also to be able to navigate fights and engagements better, right? Which, you know, know which paths you can use to rotate and disengage from and all of that. You know, you're able to also use different tools around your spot to your advantage. You know, I could sit here and like name things all day on why you, you need this place, but you get my point. So with that said, I think it's obvious that having mastery of your spot is gonna help you guys out a ton in early game. But here's the underlying question. How can I actually master my drop spot? That's a good question. All right, so this comes in multiple steps, but the first step is to simply start just landing there. <laughs> You know, start learning your drop spot by simply, you know, landing at the spot over and over and over again. Just just continue to do it. You know, get used to the area, you know, get comfortable with it, you know, develop, you know, a chemistry. It's so important. You know, public matches, arenas, scrims, tournaments, like whatever you're playing, land at your spot. Experiment, you know, with different drop areas and just try to memorize everything. Okay, guys, so once you've got a decent understanding of your spot, the next step is to develop an efficient loop path. So, you know, a few key components of an efficient loot path are good loot, you know, good materials, positioning, and the ability to rotate to other loot areas. Okay, so the main reason we want an efficient loot path is for two reasons. You guys ready? Here we go. First, we have to have a consistent place to land and then we can master the drop into it so we always land first and then get loot instantly. But the second reason is because it allows us to loot faster, you know, just to get more consistent loot and have an edge in early fights. Like, you know what you're working with, you know, like where you're getting it. And that's where your confidence grows as well. OK, so the third step is to be consistent. Like our brain works in a way where they learn things extremely quick if they're just repeated, you know, over and over again. Right. If you land at your exact same loot path every single time, you know, you're going to run into a bunch of different fights and situations. And overall, you're just going to do the same thing over and over. And you're going to build all that into your long term memory. So land at your spot over and over, you know, see what works and see what doesn't. And you're going to do so much better in early game. 
Okay guys, so another tip for early game is a way to potentially avoid third parties, which everybody hates. <laughs> or at least, you know, avoiding some of them at least, right? And also come out on top more often. So this consists of two sort of tips in one, all right? Let's get into this. And be sure to stick around because, yo, we got some more awesome tips coming even after this. Okay, so first of the two tips is to focus on box fighting. You know, fighting in buildings or even staying on low ground when you when you fight. The truth is, it's like if you try to start a build fight, even a small one during early game, your chances of getting third party increase exponentially. <laughs> like to avoid this, focus on making your fights as unnoticeable as possible. You know, obviously this is only possible to a certain extent, I get it. But the more you can just focus on that, the better chance you have of avoiding to be third party, which is really annoying. So, you know, whether it's by staying inside of buildings to fight, you know, box fighting on low ground or really any other method, like try to keep your fights low and, and as little visibility as possible to avoid those brutal third party fights that we all love. Psych, we all hate. All right. Um, <laughs> a huge top down here. If you can get down to me. Dicks! And the second tip for early game fighting, but also, you know, for any other fight as well. All right, is to focus on ending your fights early. So, you know, every second that you spend in a fight is another second someone can just spot your fight and join the party. So if you watch a pro in a fight, you're gonna notice that they're usually like ultra aggressive and they try to end this thing as soon as possible. Like it's not dragged out for the whole entire lobby to join in. <laughs> As we've already said, like the earlier that you can end your fights, the better. A long, drawn out fight is gonna bring just so much unwanted attention that you do not need or want, and quite possibly a trip right back to the lobby. So try to end your fights as soon as possible. Okay, so our third main tip is to never, guys, I know it's hard, I know it's tempting, trust me, I get caught up all the time, but man, these 50-50 fights in early game, yo, it is not worth it. I know you feel like you're invincible, like this is the fight I'm gonna win, like let me just do it. I know it's tempting, like uh, trust me, but you have to have self-control over that. Like this is simple on the surface, but there are quite few situations where this is really relevant, like more than you think. Okay, so first and foremost is the obvious one, like to avoid landing on a weapon or chest with someone else. And again, I know this is also tempting sometimes. You see a place, you want it, and you see someone else flying into, and you just feel like you can just take them down. When you do this, like it is almost an exact 50-50 chance whether you get it or your opponent gets it. And whoever doesn't get it gets sent back to the lobby. And I'm sure you experience that a lot. You know, instead, glide away from the player or, or into another spot so you can just loot up and engage when you're confident, you know what I mean? In your loot, you know, got your health and you have your materials, all right? Okay, so the second situation is like right off spawn, right? When you have an AR or long range weapon and you're trying to go for picks, the biggest point to this is to know that other people can as well. So whenever you do this, like try to shift your attention towards every area. Make sure that nobody lands in a weapon and can spot you. And also make sure that you're near cover so you aren't like straight in the open to get shot at. And finally, guys, the last 50 50 tip is to avoid fighting with bad loot if possible, please. Like now, of course, like I get it. Sometimes you're going to get a hardcore like W key player and you're not going to be able to do much. I get it. But try to avoid this whenever you can. Even if you have to hold off from fighting, it's better than just rushing into your death. So avoid every 50 50 possible fight in early game, right? To maximize your chances of making it out alive. Okay guys, so moving on to our fourth tip, we've got disengaging and not forcing fights. So, you know, the tendency of like most players when they get contested is to fight, fight, fight. I get it. But if you've ever watched like a pro match, especially in tournaments, you're gonna notice that they tend to run away from their drop spot, you know, if they're in a scuff situation and have a way out simply because fighting isn't worth it. That being said, like when you're in a match and you're in a situation that you don't like, whether you're in an annoying fight, you know, have scuffed loot or anything else like that, keep in mind, guys, that disengaging is an option. It doesn't make you look bad. It, it, look, you're playing smart. You know, oftentimes, like your opponent wants to disengage as well, but they're just too afraid to make the first move. So one of the main benefits of mastering your drop spot, like we talked about earlier, is you're going to know where you can run to and how you can do it. Okay, so a few things to keep in mind are this. You shouldn't try to disengage if your opponent has an easy angle on the way you're going or is going all in on the fight, all right? Sometimes you simply just have to fight if you get deep enough, period. And another thing to consider is that, you know, it won't always work. 
you're not going to be perfect at this all right sometimes your opponent is simply like a crazy w keyer and is not going to let you leave until one of you is gone <laughs> so when you disengage focus on breaking your opponent's line of sight so they can't see you and then rotate as far as possible Okay, so the final tip to improve an early game is stay focused. Everybody say stay focused. Come on, man. I need you. No, you didn't say it. You need to say it. Stay. Everyone say stay focused. Thank you. You see, that helps a lot. <laughs> okay, so you have to stay focused both in game and out, you know, because like to stay focused in game, make sure you're always, you know, analyzing everything around. Like don't fall asleep <laughs> and, and keep your awareness at an all time high. Like from the second you start gliding to the second you either win or you go back to the lobby. Situational awareness is honestly so underrated. You know, knowing what's happening around you is easily like one of the most key aspects of really being good at Fortnite. It's just to simply know what's going on around you. And that way you're gonna be able to make better and informed decisions like when you when you need to and on a larger scale like stay focused and understand that bad things yo they're gonna happen sometime like that's just that's just how it is by stepping into a game like you know that there's a chance of anything happening right you might get w keyed and one pumped by someone worse than you or you may get 50 50 and dial spawn unfortunate situations are just not uncommon right and they're pretty much going to happen no matter what so <laughs> instead of like getting mad when ridiculous things happen you know and bashing your your keyboard or throwing the controller like just get back in your game man you know get back in your game get focus man and remember what you're doing all right you have to remember that improving at fortnite is a long process guys you know it, it does take time you know and losing is the best way sometimes to really really get better so i encourage you guys man let let the losing help you you know let the winning help you and then you feel unstoppable because you're constantly growing don't get too hard on yourself because you have a losing streak or whatever like know that you're getting better just learn from your mistakes man and keep going all right, guys, so with that being said, I want to do a quick recap of all of this. You guys ready? Here we go. First step is to master your drop spot to a T, all right? Focus on learning every little part of your drop spot and then like developing an efficient loot route based on your knowledge so you can just be more consistent. You guys got that? All right, the second thing, remember, when you fight in early game, focus on making your fights as small and unnoticeable as possible. And also try to end your fights as quick as possible, both to, you know, decrease the risk of being third party, which we all hate, and, you know, to make your early game more efficient in terms of looted materials, right? Third, never 50-50. And this is something that I'm saying to myself, like, I need help with this too, okay? But this is just like common sense, like, and this is something that I know a lot of players need help with. Whether it's like an off-spawn balloon battle, you know, dropping on the same chest with another player or anything else like that, like, don't take unnecessary risk unless you absolutely have to. All right, guys, so fourth up, focus on learning when and how to disengage and don't be afraid to do it. You know, if you think the situation warrants it, but keep this in mind, players aren't always super smart and might not let you just go free. All right. So be ready for anything. And finally, the last tip, guys, is to stay focused. Stay focused. Focus on your surroundings in game. Don't let bad situations get to you. You know, dumb stuff. It's going to happen, period. Fortnite is a battle royale game. You know, it's a lot of RNG and just different things happen out of nowhere, man. It's just, it's crazy. That's why this game is addictive. So just know that, you know, crazy things are going to happen, but learn from your mistakes because we're always getting better. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I want you guys to keep going forward. Stay focused, stay grinding, never quit, never surrender. I will say this every single day so we can get this, man, so we can perfect this and we can be people um, that are just doing big things, man. Like, I believe in you guys, so keep going. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Okay, so real quick, in the description, we're gonna be putting a link to our brand new Pro Guides Community Discord. Join that server to hang out with community members Okay, find people to play with and so much more. It's awesome. You got to check it out. All right And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and if you want to see more of the best Fortnite content around click that red subscribe button and finally let us know in the comments like what you thought about this video and what you like to see next All right guys, I'll see you later. Peace